Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay, and this is going to be a general message for the sign of Pisces in August 2020. Hello, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. Welcome to August, friend. Eight months down on this 12-month calendar. How you feel about it? Hmm? Hopefully you're feeling good no matter where you are in the world, Pisces. Uh, still a pandemic outside, so please continue to keep yourself and your loved ones happy, safe, and healthy at this time. Uh, I understand, you know, so many things are pressing on all of us. We all have different stressors in our lives. But, you know, if we can always keep our mind on the bigger picture, uh, the, 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 the benefit and the wellness and, and, and just the <laughs> well, <laughs> um, the goodness that I think we would hope could exist for ourselves and other people if we kind of keep ourselves on that track and we do what we have to do you know, taking certain precautions, please do so, okay? Uh, not too much of a soapbox, because, you know, I don't want to really overstep too, too much. Uh, but anyway, Pisces, wherever wherever you are in the world, I hope that everything is going well for you, and again, that you're safe, happy, and healthy, okay? Uh, quick announcements before we get into our normal spiel. Uh, Pisces, you're going to see me go live here on the channel on August the 8th at 7 p.m. That's for Leo's birthday season, so I'll be taking questions from Leos uh, regarding whatever they want to ask me. <laughs> but you're, everybody is welcome to join if you want to just hang out, you know, see how I do this process live, just, you know, talk to other people in the chat or talk to me. Feel, pardon me, feel free to join if you have that free time. Uh, everybody is welcome. But again, it is specific for Leo's birthday season. Uh, the other announcement or shout out, I suppose, is uh, I want to give a shout out again to my good friend and subscriber and client, uh, Vanessa. She made me this while she was on vacation. It's so bright and so colorful. You can't really see it on this camera. Like, it's way more vibrant uh, in person. But, you know, that's kind of with anything. Uh, but anyway, uh, so she supports me and she's been a wonderful uh, person that I've gotten to know over the past year or so. And so when I get love in, I like to give it back out. So it's not, you know, like I'm promoting her. She's a private person. She doesn't do anything on YouTube. She's not, you know, making bracelets <laughs> as her primary business, I don't believe. So, uh, you know, it's just a, 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 an effort of energy exchange, you know. So when you get love in, you should give it out and, you know, always be open to reciprocating in those in those ways. Okay. So. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. Pisces, I have shuffled off camera. That's your main spread there. Going to shuffle on camera now for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the table, that's when the reading begins. Timestamp is in the, in the description box if you want to jump ahead. Also, you will find the information for getting a personal reading down in the description box. If you have a question before you place an order for a personal, just email me at the same address and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Also down there, you'll see the link to my Instagram. Uh, that is Empathic Fire Tarot, Badao, if you missed that name in the uh, in the opening. If you want to follow me over there, I am interpreting Oracle cards on that platform, also doing a pick a card uh, here and there. I'm probably going to do another one sometime soon. So if you're interested in seeing me do things on that platform or just you want to see different messages from me that kind of apply to a general collective, not just specifically your Zodiac, feel free to follow me, okay? All right, guys, let's go for it. Please show me... The outcome for Pisces in August 2020. Pisces outcome in August 2020. Please show me. Show me or stop me for Pisces outcome in August 2020. Please show me or stop me. Okay, I was about to say, we might have to pick it. Bottom of the deck is the overall energy. Where did that card go? I can reach it. Hold on, just gotta move that out the way. And there you go, all cards came face up, Pisces. What are we dealing with? That's been happening. Actually, did that happen with the previous two readings? Because I did uh, Aquarius and Capricorn before you, and maybe they both had all their cards come face up, just about? Hmm, interesting. Uh, just me really 
blabbering on to myself. Pisces, you don't really care about that, do you? <laughs> so let's get into it. Please show me where Pisces is in August 2020. Pisces in August 2020, please show me. Hmm. Okay. Sort of kind of two places, but this one was a little, <clears throat> pardon me, a little stronger. So we're going to start here. All right, Pisces, coming into your reading, you come in with the energy of the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it feels like uh, best laid plans or like longevity in a situation, your career, your home life, your personal finances, shared finances, uh, issues over inheritance or some type of uh, possible policies or something like that. Um, not, not going exactly to plan or there has been a disruption or um, sort of a restructuring of a family dynamic, a family situation, people moving away, people moving in, um, you know, dividing of assets perhaps in, in some of your cases, but what was dependable, stable, what was being worked towards as a mutual goal between you and yours, um, in your personal life, your, your, your private life or your professional life. I, you know, I think it kind of will be different for, obviously it will be different for all of you. Um, but I feel as though it's just like unexpected upheaval or unexpected events that are kind of destabling whatever you had that was stable. Um, I'm not sensing catastrophe. I'm not sensing that it's not recoupable or it's not something that you or whoever can uh, recover from. But it is kind of a one-two punch or like, like a, it's a significant hit. Let's say it that way. It's a significant blow to what you were working on or where you thought you were going in the situation. Um, in some of your cases, I, I'm, I'm sensing like you were expecting a bonus at work and given, you know, the, the turn of, a, of events that's like always developing every day recently for the past several months, uh, where you may have been expecting a certain increase in pay or have been expecting to be promoted in some type of way that is either totally canceled or it's on some type of delay or it's not happening in the way that you thought it would because of all these external factors that are related back to, you know, current uh, economic uh, crises going on across uh, not only America, but across the world and issues, you know, in terms of, you know, making a living. You know, if you were expecting to be promoted, but then your business closed or, or you were laid off, that's a, that's a big upset. Whereas, you know, maybe you were told a week before you end up getting laid off, you were on track for something and then boom, you know, the bottom falls out, the rug is snatched from under you. Um, so in some of your cases, it is feeling, this card is not associated with the tower, but I am getting some of you like having like mini tower moments or m small moments that when you add them all up have created kind of like a tower wave or a wave of energy or, or influx of energy in your life that feels like a tower. If you're unfamiliar with what the tower is in the tarot, uh, it, it signifies uh, monumental changes in our lives that are either unexpected or certainly not welcome. And uh, I feel that's kind of what's going on here. You, Some of you are finding yourselves thrust to the head of uh, the family or the head of the table is kind of what they're showing me. So in some of your cases at your job, someone may have quit or been laid off or there's been downsizing and you now are being put in a position of authority or you're being saddled with more work than what you're used to. If you know there have been certain changes or things have been switched around in a family dynamic, you might find yourself sort of at the forefront of making certain decisions or you're taking on the burden of other people's uh, problems, particularly financially, since this is the Ten of Pentacles. So if you have a cousin or a brother or a sister or a child who's down on their luck and they have to come live with you and they're out of a job or they're living off of their savings, you might have to sort of carry them for, for a little while in terms of their finances. You might have to, you know, sort of pay a bill or two on their behalf. You see what I mean? Um, I think for the most part, 
Pisces, you're just rolling with the punches. You're trying your best to make that work. You're trying to be of service. You're trying to be supportive to the people that you know and love who need your love and support. But if someone were to say, hey, Pisces, isn't life a cake in the walk? You would probably punch that person in the throat and tell them that they're crazy <laughs> because it's not. Um, but I think you're trying to play it off that way. Or, I, or again, you're like trying to deal with it as best as you can. And I commend you for that because, you know, people under your similar situation would have thrown in the towel or made all kinds of demands or ultimatums or walked away or made them some made themselves unavailable or cracked under the pressure. So for those where you're making it work, congrats. Yes, there it is. I'm like, talk. see, when I'm doing this, I'm like, I'm looking up into the into the corner of this room. I'm staring at a pretty blank wall and I'm like, I eventually turn and I'm like, well, it's bad, but I think you're triumphing. I think you're doing pretty well. And where does that come from? Underneath that Ten of Pentacles, that starting position for you, you have the Strength card. Major Arcana for Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo, but you don't have to be. Um, so here you go, pulling yourself up by the bootstraps or really, you know, putting your best foot forward in the situation and, and, and trying to, you know, water for ducks back, don't let them see you sweat, all the cliches in the world that basically equal you meeting the challenge head on. Um, some of you, you have a lot of anxiety over this, or you've had, uh, some, some type of apprehension over this. And despite how you, your body may have been biologically warning you not to get involved or to maintain something. Okay. So yes. So the, be careful with this, especially for those where you might have like certain conditions or you might be prone to, let's say, uh, panic attacks, okay? Don't push yourself too much. The strength card usually shows up when you know your limits and you're willing to, you know, give it the old college try and, you know, really show your might. However, sometimes our willpower cannot beat our biology, can't beat our physical makeup, so be careful with that. If you know you have uh, certain issues or conditions that can be exacerbated due to stress, do not put yourself in stressful situations. So that would also be an act of strength is self-preservation. And that's like really like stone cold advice for maybe one person uh, who's not taking their health too seriously or they're kind of, you know, putting it off. Well, I felt okay, even though I was like juggling, you know, 50 million balls in one day. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah, that may be how you feel on the surface, but you know, your heart or, you know, whatever is going on with you on the inside could be saying a whole different story. So we can't always, you know, equate how we feel consciously or how we convince ourselves that we feel is actually the truth. So for those where you might have medical uh, overlapping uh, concerns, you should really pay attention to those concerns, okay? Uh, for those where that's not really an issue or you do have a handle on it, you know how to manage your time, you know how to manage your energy, um, this still speaks to both groups. Uh, the, the, the bulk of the Pisces that are going to attach to this uh, message is that I feel you're putting on your big boy pants, your big girl pants, and you're really going out there and you're showing the situation, you're showing the people involved that you're dependable, you're accountable, you're able to handle whatever life throws at you. It's commendable, Pisces. And it doesn't feel overly sacrificial, which is something I normally am like waiting to feel when I get into a Pisces reading. I think perhaps if you've been doing this for a while, that is why I don't feel it's like sacrificing. I feel it is more of a compromise. I feel many of you are allowing other people to fail or other people to fall short because it's either a direct reflection on them so it doesn't make any difference to you or you're you're wanting them to fail or struggle a bit so that they understand your contribution, right? So someone may come to you and say, hey, Pisces, blah, 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 didn't work out. Did you do X, Y, Z or how come this, you know, it's like, some of you want someone to question why something didn't work out this time around, or why is something more difficult this time around? Is it because Pisces didn't contribute, or is it because Pisces 
doesn't have to contribute. Like, what, what Pisces is bringing to the table is purely voluntary. Thus, whoever's doing the questioning ought to step up, right? That's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest, I've seen Pisces do that. I've seen Pisces do that. Like, they don't bark the lesson at you. They don't demand you learn the lesson. They don't throw a lesson in your face or, you know, shove your nose in it, so to speak. They kind of make you question yourself and then see their value and plug them into the equation. Oh, the missing part of the equation was Pisces or the way in which Pisces shows up. And instead of putting Pisces in that place, I should put myself in that place. I should put my own energy effort where Pisces has recently retracted it, right? Interesting. Um, in other cases where this was about loss or this was about some type of inheritance or some something in the lines of destabilizing energy uh, with the family. In some of your cases, I am feeling like a bust up of material resources. What do I mean by bust up? Like a, like a divvying up. Thank you. It's like a divvying up of resources or like, you know, this, this child gets this much, this child is in charge of that. The, I leave this to my night, my niece and my nephew and blah, 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 blah. And I feel like maybe some of you are facing a situation where you kind of got nothing or close to nothing in terms of inheritance or any type of payouts to insurance policies or, or any type of uh, fulfillment of wills, right? And I feel like you're kind of like, some of you are pretty burned up about that or you're annoyed at that, but I don't think it's going to make or break your situation, so don't worry about it too much. Um, but I think it's kind of leaving a bitter taste in your mouth. And that could be sort of like where when we see the strength card, uh, we can see, in, especially in this card, how this this lion is sort of standing up with its chest kind of, you know, protruding to the front. And it looks very prideful, right? It looks like it has, oh my god, come on with the focus. There we go. Uh, yeah, it just looks like really noble or like majestic or something like that. So you might kind of, some of you, this is not for everybody, kind of turn your nose up after sort of getting snubbed or or being um, forgotten in a situation. Something like that. Now, what else happens for Pisces? Please show me. Okay, yeah, so you're on your P's and Q's. Like, all over the place, um, this feels like a Aries. I almost called you Aries, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Or you could be on the cusp with Aries since, you know, you guys go right back into uh, uh, the start of the Zodiac Wheel after 12th house is first house, right? So some of you could be cuspers, but I feel as though you're mostly on your P's and Q's here. I think in the moments of questioning, you kind of go back to, well, what do I, what am I working with, right? So there is a little bit of hesitancy or uncertainty in the situation coming from you or another person. It is a general, so it can go vice versa. I could, I'm saying you, 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 Pisces, but I could be talking about the person sitting next to you. Take your pick. You know your story better than I do. So there is this sense of like, mm, what's going on here? What do I do? How do I fix this? How do I take care of this? What, what, what? And question, 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 and seeking answers and feeling like maybe I'll do this and then kind of walking that back and thinking, okay, no, I'll do the other thing. And then, you know, it's like a volleying. It's like oscillating, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's typical of you guys, you know, sign of duality. You can think one thing and then think the other thing within the span of like, you know, two seconds. <laughs> or, you know, could spend several days, you know, thinking you're going to go one way and then something changes in the air or something changes in terms of what you understand or perceive about a situation. And now you jump onto the other other side of the track, so to speak, and start going the other way, right? Um, <sighs> Pisces, I feel like your ultimate challenge is to be solid in choice. And I mean, that's kind of indicative in what I was just saying. It's like the back and forth doesn't ever really get someone anywhere when results and decisions are absolutely needed. You know, to say, well, let's do both or, or both things are true doesn't work when you're dealing with a quiz that's true or false answers, right? It, every question is a 50-50 shot. You're either going to get it right or you're going to get it wrong. You can't have both normally, right? So 
I get that sense. I get the sense that you can't have it both ways or you can't have it this way for a portion of the time and then switch up tactics or switch up your answer at a later time. There needs to be more decisive action. Again, you could be dealing with people or a person that's dealing with this or showing up in this way. Um, ultimately, I feel a fatigue coming on. I feel as though this is like running dry. This is like enough is enough with the with the hold up enough is enough with the stalling enough is enough with the thinking we're going to go one way and then changing our minds soon thereafter like that is just getting to be a little tedious and a little it's 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 a deterrent or um a detraction thank you it's more of a a detraction because what did i say back here i feel like the impetus of your situation is this ten of pentacles shakeups, losses, particular uh, questions to uh, your foundation or like how to secure and keep things held p tightly together and strongly putting in those efforts to support other people, support yourself, whatever. And whatever is in the mix here that's uncertain, it could be other per another person and their energy, could be what's going on in another person's life and how it ripple effects to you this has to stop. This is not conducive to, I feel, what your overall energy is searching for. Searching for renewed stability or to keep what you have left within proximity to yourself. Like you may have lost something in terms of finances or in terms of property, other types of resources and things of value, but you haven't lost it all. And to preserve what you have, decisive decision <laughs> dis <laughs> yes uh decisive decisions or decisions period need to be made and any hold up to that is kind of it's count it's counterproductive it's not kind of it is it's counterproductive and whoever sees that happening is like no 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 we can't do that anymore it's like I see it coming. I see this moment in my decision-making patterns. Or I see that person over there, how they're twiddling their thumbs or they're taking notes or they're, whatever their tell is. You're like, I can see this is about to be slightly a standstill or slightly more time is going to be spent making the decision than actually needs to. In some cases, because we did have two cards of pentacles thus far, and I see it's a very pentacle heavy reading, it could be a time thing. It could be we don't have time, there are deadlines, and I see that that person over there is prepared to stall, or this person over here is dragging their feet. I'm, you know, kind of sitting on my hands, not really doing anything. You know, there's something about hold, yes, holding people and yourself accountable. Yes, thank you. The Magician. Secondary major for Gemini and uh, Virgo could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo, but you don't have to be. So this is like not pussyfooting around. This is like recognizing when things are, you know, kind of circling the drain and going nowhere fast um, and kind of calling bullshit on it. You know, there's no time to waste. As I said, with pentacles, we could be dealing with money, uh, other things of value or personal possessions. Uh, ma things of the material world that have value to us, okay? And to see it depleted up here or challenged in some way here, destabilized in some way here, and either you or someone else or, you know, a collection of people kind of in this, well, what are we going to do? And this like this trying to figure it out, but then not actually pulling the trigger on certain decisions or stalling decisions, that has to stop. The magician is a doer. The magician is a creator. The magician is someone in the tarot. It doesn't have to be a man, by the way. This is a general, so this could apply to a female. And it, again, it doesn't have to come down to a Gemini or a, uh, a Virgo. But the, the magician in general is somebody who <sighs> recognizes what is factoring in, what's affecting the situation, what are the, what are the, what are the elements of the equation we're trying to solve. Is it an X? Are we solving for X? Okay, we're solving for X. Oh, we're solving for X and Z. Okay, that's fine, we could do that. Uh, so are there any, I, I'm just gonna use a bunch of math words. I'm not good at math, I'm just throwing them out there, so please don't quote me on this. But are there any fractions? Are we dealing with, uh, <laughs> are we dealing with uh, prime numbers? Are we dealing with, you know, <laughs> uh, are we doing, um, what's that called? 
Oh, fuck. See, I can't even do it. That's how bad at math I am. But, you you know, like those really like complicated quadratic formulas for me, even something as simple as, you know, high school algebra is super hard. So please don't quote me on what I just was talking about. But it's kind of like that. If I'm going to solve for the problem, if I'm trying to figure out the, uh, uh, a solution, I need to know all the factors. I need to know all the elements that are at play here. Um, so <laughs> I guess we could relate it to something that I know a little bit more. Like if you were uh, going to write a report or, or make an argument based on a text that you were to read a book, uh, an article, whatever, you would have to know all the facts and the figures or you would have to you know, begin to theorize what was the author going for or what was the point of this character or what was happening with this plot point. You'd have to comprehend every bit of what you read, yeah? And The Magician is about that, is about that life. This is not doing a full study or at least not doing a constructive study. Let's say the Two of Pentacles isn't a constructive study of the situation because it can get bogged down in details. It can get bogged down or overwhelmed with the prospect of having to make choices, of having to come to uh, come to conclusions and, and, and decision-making points. And the magician doesn't care about that. This this energy, this who I assume it would be you, Pisces, but again, it's in general, so it can go the other way. This is someone who doesn't sweat the small stuff, you know, works well under pressure, you know, is somebody who is adaptable in the moment. And that is because when the magician is in high vibe, in proper alignment, uh, has has um, access to all the tools in the toolbox, right, in terms of tarot. So has access to the pentacles, the wands, the swords, and the cups. So if a situation calls for more emotional empathy and it calls for someone to need to be uh, sort of an unofficial counselor or therapist to somebody for a day because, you know, as a project lead or somebody who's in the family who's looked and respected, I need to be open and, 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 and care or show that I care and nurture the people around me, right? If this is about you know, utilizing your intellect and argumentation skills, if this is about constructing a very well-written email, this energy is capable as when it's in high vibe. And I feel for the most part it is because uh, it has to fight. Thank you. This energy has to fight what's surrounding it. Meaning, if not consciously decided to be more decisive, to be more aware, to be more uh, accountable and, and present in the situation and aim for a solution, this energy, this magician could easily be quote unquote drowned out by everything that's around it. I feel Pisces, it's mostly your energy. It, it, it is a general, it can go any which way. So please apply it where it is. So first we have this, uh, what's going on? What are, what's the best choice? The choice is A today, tomorrow the choice is gonna be B. And then the day after that, maybe it'll go back to A. Who knows? This wishy-washy in and out, here but not really here or that's a great idea but then we retract whatever that's bull that mm, i shouldn't say it's bull it's 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 not effective it's just not gonna help the cause what else is going on that's not helping the cause or at least well this one we'll see about that one this one is definitely not necessarily helping the cause because what is here is the six of pentacles six of pentacles is about reciprocity it is about being in a situation and trying to have equal give and take not 50 50 all the time you know on days where someone is given 30 percent the other person or the other side of the situation jumps up and says all right i'll carry the 70 and then you know eventually hopefully we can get back to a more balanced equilibrium right um i feel that that is in the vicinity or at least that's sort of like a goal that's sort of like what we're wishing for ah okay 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 so i'm seeing like somebody like at work or something in your job requires sort of like um, coordination amongst teams, amongst members on teams, or amongst uh, interdependent businesses, right? Where, pardon me, where you might have to take calls or take information from one company, apply it to 
some endeavor of a second company and then come up with proposals for both. Like you might be in the business of negotiation or, or again, some type of trying to strike some compromise or strike a deal between your, your company and one or two other businesses, something like that or clients or whatever it is. And there is a frustration because like I said, when we see the six of cups in tarot, we are wishing and hoping for a 50-50, but that's not usually what happens in reality. Oh, and, and what I'm sensing is like moving pieces or like moving targets. Thank you. Moving targets, so to speak. So the moment you've satisfied one client or one customer or one side of whatever the hell we're talking about could be negotiations within, within a family. So once one party is satisfied with the terms or what's proposed as, as the solution, the other side changes their uh, attitude. <clears throat> Excuse me changes their attitude or it changes their expectations, changes what they want to see uh, benefiting them in the situation, which then goes back to the original side that was settled. And that side says, well, now that they've changed their mind or now that they said this, we also want that or we we no longer care about this. Now we care about that. And it's just like it it's constantly shifting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I feel Pisces, you can be, you know, in those shifting sides, one side versus the other, you can be, but I'm feeling the bulk of the Pisces that I'm talking to is the person or the entity, the go between, between these two people, again, two different companies or entities or whatever. And six of pentacles, like I said, is the hope for equality, the hope that things are, uh, equated, uh, or, or, uh, yeah, equ- Equitable, thank you. Equitable, equitable, thank you. Um, but it's not always that way. And so compromises and concessions kind of have to come to the table. And the magician, again, would be brilliant at that. Like I told you, a good negotiator knows when to turn on the charm with certain pers- with certain people. Knows, you know, it's, 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 it's not a con or anything like that. I'm not sensing manipulation. I'm not sensing deceit. But the magician knows how to talk to people per the individual that they're talking to. So if someone like this is like classic, like management, in my opinion, but there are plenty of managers who don't know this to motivate a worker, you have to motivate, motivate them all differently. Or you have to let, in my opinion, this is not true in all industries, of course, and this is not true for all leadership styles. But for me, it makes a lot of sense to micromanage the people that need or want micromanagement. Some people need that, you know, tell me what to do like every hour, like what I should be doing, like because they can't focus or they want to sort of, I don't know, they're into it. Other people, you don't need to micromanage them. You tell them one time, this is what I need from you or this is what I'm expecting uh, to be the result or this is what I'm hoping for out of the project. Go forth, make it happen, you know? And the magician, if a leader, if the person who has to be the go-between, they would alter their approach to sort of, quote unquote, satisfy both sides. That is a game (laughs) of monkey in the middle, right? A little bit, a little bit of monkey in the middle. Um, And if it's you, Pisces, like I told you, you are known to be a sign of service, okay? Because your opposite is Virgo, sixth house, and sixth house is the house of service. So you have that in you innately because, again, opposite signs always speak to each other. And I think that's sort of, for many of you, kind of your default operating system to be of service, to be available to people. But I feel it's waning, or I feel possibly you've done that, especially in a family setting, and it didn't pay off. You could have been the good child. You could have been the good grandchild, the good niece, the good nephew, whatever. And you got, you know, iced out of the will or you were told your portion of the inheritance was much much less than what you thought it would be, given that you were so giving. And again, that, that, uh, (laughs) well, not again, but that, that could draw into question your motivation for helping in the first place. But to be honest, for those where that did happen. I don't think you were giving and expecting. That's not, that's not unconditional. That's conditional giving. That's conditional support. That's conditional love, right? I'm going to do these things. I'm going to act this way. I'm going to provide these things to my, my relative, my loved one in hopes that one day they're going to cut me a big check on their deathbed. Something like that. I'm not saying that's for everybody, but you see what I mean? That's not genuine, but I'm not feeling disingenuous energy 
for the most part, coming out of this reading. Some of you Pisces, sure. Your underhanded, <laughs> conniving, scheming people, sure, that's possible. But for the bulk of the energy that I'm dealing with, you were expecting reciprocity. You were expecting to be to be given back, if not exactly what you gave, a close approximation of what you gave into the situation. And it's just not showing up that way. Um, you might be dealing with people who are uh, not trustworthy or um, what's that called? Irresponsible. Thank you. I couldn't think of that word for some reason. Irresponsible. They may be lazy or they may, you know, lack lack proper proper they might not have as much to give to a situation in terms of time and effort in some cases this could be about financial investments they don't have as much money and so there's just like this trying to make it work where maybe other people are not giving back as much as you have given and that's disconcerting so what i see is a route or a decision to be more proactive in taking care of yourself, enhancing your skills, eight of pentacles, enhancing your knowledge, enhancing the way you show up or, or underlining and, and being very, very conspicuous with your contributions. The eight of pentacles is an ascending card for me, or, or in this moment, it's an ascending card. I feel as though you're climbing a ladder, you're making yourself known, you're making your efforts known because never again am I gonna be shortchanged on anything. Never again am I gonna be taken for granted on something. Uh, you really are minding your bottom line, because again, you have a pentacles heavy reading, eight or excuse me, ten of pentacles, six of pentacles, two of pentacles, and now the eight. Lots and lots of earth energy. So where your physical world is concerned, your stability is concerned, your money is concerned, in some of your cases your health is concerned, like I told you, if you are aware that by overgiving or or by showing up and adding all this stress to your life, people never like cut you a break or they never volunteered well you know pisces did have that triple bypass surgery last month maybe they should recover instead of thinking that they called you up hey pisces can you help this and you're just sitting there looking at the scar that's down the middle of your chest going yeah i'll be there soon no 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 no, no. that's overgiving right so we evaluate that that's no longer necessary or no longer feasible all right and the eight of pentacles isn't necessarily like me first me first me first but it is interested in my trajectory or your personal trajectory right so if you want to continue living a long life or you want to enjoy the rest of your life after your triple bypass or whatever the hell it is you would be wise not to stress yourself out willfully and there will be times in life where you know the circumstance is too it's far beyond our our impact our reach our influence and so it's just going to happen but when you can choose and when you can choose not to you will choose not to and that's a smart investment that's a smart move the eight of pentacles isn't you know working towards a goal or working uh studying or or um taking classes or being mindful of self just because there is a bigger goal in mind and that is to get to the nine of pentacles and again back to the ten like i said some of you are trying to like repair what has been damaged repair what has been semi lost or a portion of it has been lost in some type of way and so this is that action that you take this is the decision that you make i'm going to do i'm going to approach things in a more practical, pragmatic, logical, and self-reliant way. I'm not going to overextend myself. I'm not going to work extra hours if I'm not getting paid. Some of you, it, that could be it. You're over there volunteering your time, putting in hours, and not getting paid, hoping to be rewarded. And I think it was for your reading. I See, I've done, I've done three of these readings kind of pretty close back to back. But I think I did mention earlier where some of you were expecting some type of promotion or some type of reward and you might not get it simply because the business closed, closes down or, you know, funds are too tight so the boss can't give you the, the, the bonus that they promised you, something like that. Now you know, oh, well, I don't need to work all these extra hours or I don't need to volunteer my time or I don't need to be so available. I, and, and I think you would be within your rights because you've already shown yourself to be capable. But if you're not going to be compensated, maybe not rewarded, but compensated fairly, for some of you, if it's about fair compensation, like lawful compensation, okay, definitely, okay? Because this is something that people still try to do today. And, I, I, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a 
expert on labor law. Clearly, I'm not. So you would have to really research it. But I think generally, generally, <clears throat> excuse me, generally speaking, any day that's more than eight hours, any week that's over 40 hours, to some degree or fashion, depending on your employment type, I should say, you should be compensated with overtime pay or some type of at hazard pay or something like that. And I feel I've seen not just with Pisces, but just people in general as of recently because of, you know, challenges to the economy and whatnot, that's kind of being skim skipped over. And I'm like, wait a minute, is that lawful? Is that legal? So some of you might have a case uh, in that in that in that context, in that p specific context of where you're giving more into a job, but not getting compensated, not rewarded, compensated, fairly compensated. OK. <sighs> OK. <laughs> uh, outcome for August for you, Pisces, is the Ace of Swords in reverse. So mm, might be biting your tongue a little while longer in this situation, might actually be tapped for ideas. You might kind of feel that you're at the end of your rope or there's certain information that's missing that you're unaware of there there might be certain truths or insights that you don't have in the situation uh, or that someone else refuses to bring forth if this is like something about your business and or legal space uh, where you might be making a case against your employer or you might be making a case as to why you deserve XYZ. There could be someone or some energy around that's deliberately hiding the truth, that is deliberately withholding uh, pertinent information, uh, or you are biding your time in this way. Um, that could always factor back to the magician as well as the strength card where I feel whoever it is, could be someone else, it doesn't have to be you. There's like a conscious effort to play this thing the exact right way to get the best outcome. And it could be for now the best outcome, or excuse me, what's gonna help the outcome is to remain silent. Um, and I think for the most part, if Pisces, you're looking for some type of comeuppance or if you're looking for some type of redemption, I think you get it. For those where you're like starving for truth or you feel a truth would vindicate something, you would feel vindicated or it would affirm something for you, I think you might be a little disappointed for, for, for the foreseeable because I don't sense that this sword, this ace of swords is going to show up in the, in the upright anytime soon. I really feel it's like delayed, it's hidden, it's avoided, it is in some cases destroyed like if you're looking for documentation it may be destroyed so you know back shit up put it on a cloud put it on a, a thumb drive email it to yourself do something uh to protect yourself uh because that's the other thing about the ace of swords so uh, especially uh well not especially but uh ace of swords is also sort of a weapon that can be it's like a preemptive strike you know what i mean but with it in the reverse, it would be a challenge to get that actually uh, secured and, and, and be usable in the future. So be careful. Well, be careful. Be mindful. You know, if you need some truth, if you need something corroborated or if you need something notarized, be about it. Get on top of it, okay? Uh, overall energy for you, Pisces, is the Five of Swords. I suddenly, my neighbors don't smoke. This is like the second time, like I just got like a big hit of like nicotine in my in my nostrils. So uh, again, if you have issues with your health and you're a smoker, stop smoking. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, five of swords. So oh. clearly someone here is exhausted. You've got this knight and head to toe, his his armor, head to toe, seated, seated, I always keep saying that, seated on the ground, looking pretty much down and out, or, 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 you know, over whatever battle he has been in, right, and then in the background, you do see, like, a misty figure walking away, um, in traditional interpretations, this means someone, you know, is winning, cutting their nose to spite their face, it's a, it's a hollow victory, that might apply to some of you. More to the point, I think you are just like mentally exhausted. 
you know, you, ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, remember when I said earlier, I made a joke about if someone said to Pisces, hey, Pisces, isn't life like a walk in the park or like a cakewalk or whatever I said, and I said your response to that person would probably be to punch them in the throat. That is probably somewhat related to, to this Five of Swords, where you are really fatigued by what you're experiencing, by what you're talking about, by what you're being asked asked to do, the ways in which you're performing or showing up in the world, the, the responsibilities you're taking onto your shoulder, the stressors that are on you, right? All of that is a lot. And so I feel you're mentally exhausted. Some of you emotionally, physically, all the ways exhausted, yeah? And that five of swords is you're doing the you're doing the thing, you're making it work. You're 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 doing your job or you're being a good brother or a good a good daughter, you're being a good father, mother, whatever. You're 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 taking like I said before, you're taking these punches and you're just rolling with it, rolling with it, rolling with it. But at what cost? But at what cost? So it's costing you mental acuity. <laughs> uh acuity thank you thank you <laughs> oh man it's been a day with my mouth uh bad a bad speaking day for jay anyway uh it's costing you mental acuity it's costing you emotional mm, wherewithal or like resistance i guess i feel you might have easily uh, you might be in the mood, not a mood, but you might be easily agitated at this moment or going through the situation, you know, where normally you might be a little thick skinned or you might be more better, uh, better at uh, handling your emotional uh, outbursts. You might be, you know, at the drop of a dime, pow, Pisces is just having a moment, you know. So there's something about being stretched too thin with that five of swords that applies to the entire uh, reading, okay? Pisces, that is your reading for August. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how this resonated in your life. Please do so. Uh, feel free to share the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. That'd be super, super cool. Uh, Pisces, I'll be back soon with the mid-month messages and then again going live for uh, Leo on August 8th. If you want to join me, that will be at 7 p.m. Just hang out, chill out, do what you want. If not at all, that's okay too. Uh, also, if you want that personal reading, the information is down in the description box, so go and feel free to hit your girl up, okay? Uh, <laughs> Pisces, I will speak to you guys soon. I thank you so, so much for watching this video. Take care.